Today I'll share with you how I construct this base for an Easter basket, which will be a square shape. I will be using the same fold that I used to make the lid to my step gift box. These will be the same folds, only this time I will be using a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So let's go through the steps together with the cardstock I have in front of me. If you missed my video for the step gift box, I'll add a link in the upper corner and in the description box. These are two additional items I use to decorate the outside of my basket. The fence die from Sizzix. If you don't have this fence die, I will also be showing how to construct one with strips of cardstock. I added this strawberry die from Cottage Cuts, and this is the strawberry petite die. There are two different ones available. So let's get started. Okay, next I've gone ahead and added some uh, double-sided tape to the flap on this side and I'm just going to go ahead and tack that in and then I'll do the same on this side. and then fold up the flap, make sure our ends are straight, our sides. And then fold the flap in. And then we have the base of our basket. I have cut a piece of cardstock that I'm going to add to the inside. Ok, 
okay that just gives it a little bit more uh, thickness and that way you can load it with goodies next up I'm going to add a handle and I've cut a one inch strip by 12 inch and then a half an inch decorative piece and I've glued it to the top of that and I'm going to add my handle and I think I'm going to go ahead and just staple that on so I'm going to do that next okay I'm just going to kind of eyeball it you could add brads if you would like on this but I'm just going to go ahead and staple it in a couple places and I'm going to decorate the sides so you really won't see it but if you want the handle to move you can add the brads going to hold well. All right, so let's go ahead and decorate the outside of our little basket. So here's the fun part. Let's decorate our little basket. And here I've cut the fence with the die. And like I said, I'm going to show you how to create this fence without the die if you don't have a fence die. And then I uh, used the uh, cottage cuts strawberry petite die and I've added strawberries in the greenery along the fence so I've done three panels like this and they fit perfectly on the side of the um, basket and you need to decide where which one's going to be the front so uh, since the staples are on I want my handle to be um, going across like this. So this is going to be my front panel. So I'm going to add this here and uh, I'm going to do something different on the front. I am going to add a fence but I'm going to uh, just add a die cut in the front with a little Easter decoration. So let's go ahead and add some hot glue to this and uh, attach it to the side panel.
Next, I'm gonna add some goodies to my little basket. And I wanted to add at least a few things that are a little bit more nutritious. So I have some pistachios. And I uh, dehydrate <clears throat> my own fruits. So I have some apple rings and some strawberries. Kind of keeping in the theme with the little strawberry along the fence. And then, of course, I'll add a few of the little Easter eggs. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and put this in a little plastic bag. <clears throat> Gather up the top and then tie some ribbons around the top. Keep it all together. So this is what our fence is going to look like and I'm going to show you how to construct this. Super easy you guys. So you need a four and a quarter by one inch strip and we need uh, six of these. And what I've done is I've spaced the each of the little panels uh, half an inch apart and now uh, inch and a quarter from the bottom is where I'm going to add this first rung. So I'm going to add some glue. Oops. I'm trying to keep these straight with that ruler at the top. I'd have to press down on that so it doesn't move. And I'm just underneath this line I'm going to add my glue. And then I'm going to add this strip here right under the measurement make sure it's even on both sides okay and did it this way and then I'm going going to do the same thing on um, the top but I'm going to add my last piece Let's see, an inch and a quarter as well. So I'm going to do it right at that line underneath here. Just set that there. Super easy to make a little fence. And then, um, the center of each of these posts I'll mark, which will be at a quarter inch. So a quarter inch. That's right in the center. Okay. Next, to get all my points of my post even. I'm just going to probably come down, let's do half, half an inch. Put it up there. Drop a line across each post. And then I'm going to get my scissors and that way I can take each corner on the edge and to the middle of my post and cut that like that. That way they'll all be uniform. Let's 
And there we have our fence. There are so many options for this basket, not only as an Easter basket, but for other occasions such as Mother's Day or birthdays. Have fun decorating yours with items from your stash and a fence you cannot construct yourself and decorate the front with the different holiday die cuts to fit your theme. Here's a sneak peek of a few more box tutorials I will be posting soon. I'll be using the same base but adding lid ideas. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It helps my channel out. If you're not a subscriber and would like to, hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for joining me today and take care.